I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator. There is actually a new feature in the game that we are going to check out right now. There's a lot to read, so sit tight, and I'm going to read it to you guys, and here it goes. There are now four types of poison in the game, emetic, lethal, sedative, and headache. I want to find a better word to describe what the last one does. At lunchtime, Toga Tabara eats a bento at the school cafeteria. If you distract him with a giggle, he will put his bento down and investigate the giggle. When he's not looking at his bento, you can put any of the four types of poison into it. Okay, so this Toga guy just got to the school and we're already gonna make him our little guinea pig. Got it. If Toga consumes emetic poison, he will go to the bathroom and vomit. His appetite will be gone, so he will return to class early. In a future update, you'll be able to drown him in the toilet while he's vomiting. If Toga consumes the lethal poison, he will die. Big surprise. If Toga consumes a sedative, he will be drowsy and go to the infirmary to nap. He'll return to normal once it's time to return to class. The headache poison is for an upcoming feature. It currently serves no purpose whatsoever, but it's going to be an important core gameplay mechanic in the near future, possibly as soon as the game's next update. Toga is the test subject guinea pig for these status effects. Once all of these effects are working perfectly on Toga, I will make it possible to poison anyone's meal, and then the player will be able to place any of the above effects on any student. This will be a major step in transforming Yandere Sim into the type of game I've been envisioning. Hopefully this feature will be working properly within the next few days. Okay, so we are going to figure out if it's working pretty properly right now. We can't expect it to be 100% working fine, but we're going to check it out right now. If you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. Oh man, what a beautiful day at Academy High to be testing a new update. We got the sun shining, we got the clouds going, okay. and you know what, actually, it's the same freaking weather every day. Yandere Death. I remember two years ago, you posted a video, like a short little video, I think it was like unlisted, of Yandere Chan in a banana yellow raincoat walking in the rain, and I was getting like the most massive yawn boner because I was like, oh my goodness. Imagine like those days where it's raining, that would be the perfect time to eliminate a student. And I remember I wrote a comment on that video talking about how excited I was. But it's been two years, man, and I've never seen any rain. But anyway, no more bitching and talking about yawn boners. That's for a different video. The poison is right here. Wait, I actually don't know where the poison is, but we are going to steal her keys. We're going to do it in one take. One take, Jay's in the building. Q, Q, R, Q, and give me those keys. So let's grab emetic medicine. I think that the poison's gonna be on the second floor. It might be, science lab, right? Yeah, poison, okay. So poison's in this room. Let's see where the other two are. Wait a minute, I think I know where it is. This girl just gave me a clue. I think we gotta go to the gardening area. Yeah, I gotta steal the key from this girl. Circular saw, shovel, jerry can, axe. Rat poison, there you go. Okay guys, I cannot find that last poison, so we are just gonna go to lunchtime and we are gonna see how the first three work. And then we'll worry about the headache one later. It says it's for an upcoming feature. I don't know if that means it's in the game but serves no purpose right now. Or if he's just saying what the poison's gonna be and it's not actually in the game. But I'm gonna do a thorough investigation, guys. I'm gonna make sure we find this poison if it's in the game. Okay, so here's Togo right over here. And these guys keep talking about their anime. Shut up, why don't you? So we're gonna poison this bento right here. It actually kind of looks like a bunch of onigiri near his weenie. But we're gonna go behind here. And we're gonna do a little giggle. There you go. You're gonna come around this way, so I'm gonna go around this way. And then poison that. Emetic. Okay, so this one is the emetic poison. Go back to your seat. Eat that bento. You like that spice? You like that flavor, buddy? Wait, he's loving it right now. Oh, 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 there we go. There we go. He choking on it, he gagging. Oh yeah. Do you need some help, my man? Man, he's gagging with the chopsticks. That's dedication. Okay, let's follow him. Okay, so he's actually going upstairs to use the bathroom. I don't know why. There was a bathroom on the second floor. Okay, let's follow him, even though we're not allowed in here. He is gonna throw up in the first stall. Drown him. Drown him. Okay, we can't actually drown him. But he's throwing up. Look at this. Oh, oh, wow, why yeah. is that shit hella green? All right, time for you to fall asleep, buddy. Can I just go in front of him? Yeah, I can. Let me talk to him. Can't even talk to him. Wait, why are you tripping out? I thought it was a sedative. Shouldn't he just be going to sleep? Okay, so he actually has a stomach ache and is gonna go to sleep in the infirmary. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, and then he just fully knocked out. Damn, this guy fell asleep so quick. And what about you? Mr. Trippin' in front of the gate. Look at these guys. Tossing and turning like they're at home. Yeah, make yourself comfortable, why don't you? Okay, let's try this again. Make him come over here. And as he's walking over there, can I just poison it while he's coming back? Let me see. I'm gonna wait for him to turn around, then I'm gonna poison the bento. Okay, poison it. He didn't say anything about it. And let's see if he gets poisoned. Let's see if it's showtime. Let me go back into selfie mode real quick. 
Because I gotta get this on camera, guys. We gotta get this on tape. Oh, shit. He's freaking out. He's freaking out. We gotta get this on Instagram. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, so he's just straight up gagging. And he's fully dead. So when you poison him, he just dies. And then he does like a little bounce and then completely dies. Oh, my God. Is that a dead body? Yes, it is. Come here, my man. I've got to find a place to hide. Yeah, instead of telling a teacher or contacting authorities, you've got to find a place to hide. Great logic, guys. So let's end the day, and let's see what the police say. The school day has ended. Faculty members must walk through the school and tell any lingering students to leave. While walking around the school, a faculty member discovers a corpse. The police arrive at school. The police discover the corpse of Toga Tabara. Why is there blood? There was no blood. If anything, he bled internally. The police are unable to locate any murder weapons. The police question all students in the school, including Ayane. The police are unable to link Ayane to any crimes. And they leave, and I go back to stalking my sexy Pussy. ass senpai. Wait, so somebody's gonna Please tell on me. Let me see if they actually pinpoint me to this crime. I don't think that they would because I didn't even touch him. Like, I didn't even do anything. Wait, let her through. Dude, science fuckboy, let her through. She can't even get to the guy. And then this girl said, oh my god, is that a dead body? Okay, the teacher got this handled. You can mind your own business. Wait, if I touch the body, is she gonna think it's me? Of course! Yeah, she is. How could you? Okay, I'm getting the hell out of here. Okay, you guys know what I just realized? I forgot that Infochan has all the hookups, so I don't what even do need to need? be looking for all the stuff. She has it right here, like 10 panty shots for the emetic poison, 20 for the lethal, 10 for the headache, 10 for the sedative, 10 for a lock pick. A lock picking device. You can use this to pick any locked door in the school. It is very fragile and will break after one year. Use. What the heck? Let me grab that lock pick and let's see if we can actually open this up. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Yeah, I've never seen anything that looks like that. I'm pretty sure this is not gonna work because Impochan would not give us anything that can lock pick her room. But you know, we just gotta see. And yeah, we can't even open that. We can't even do it. But maybe we can open the lock for the gardening shed. So yeah, guys, she has her key right there. There's still a big fat lock on the door. So let's use lock pick. And that's it. But anyway, let us get the headache Plus poison. And it's a bottle containing a substance that will induce a headache upon human consumption. So as of right now, guys, this poison doesn't have any feature. Like, you can just put it in there, but I don't think anything's gonna happen to him. Maybe he freaks out a little bit or just goes to the bathroom. But Yandere Dev said that it serves no purpose whatsoever. So let's put the headache poison in there. And then let's just see what happens. I want you guys to tell me what you think will happen. Like, what you guys think he's gonna put in the future update. But as for right now... I don't Japan. think this guy's gonna do jack shit. I think he's just gonna be enjoying that bento. So yeah, guys, those were all four poisons that you could put inside this guy's bento. Let me know down low in the comments below what you would want the headache one to do. I think it would be badass if it made his headache so bad that he started, like, raging on people. Like, he just started attacking everybody in his way. I don't know what purpose that would serve for the actual gameplay, but you can't deny that that would be pretty freaking cool if you just had some guy with the headache poison inside of his system going ape shit on everybody. All right, let me try something real quick, guys. Let me get this guy to come over here. As he's choking out on the poison in his bento, I'm I'm actually just gonna end this guy's life foo and let's see if he reacts to it you know what i mean okay there you go he's starting to cough let me end this guy's life foo uh! and what nothing the poison got you feeling some type of way he's stuck in like this look where he's just like Duh. are you gonna react to it no uh toga here you can have this okay so here's what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna use the emetic poison in his bento but as he's going to the bathroom, I'm going to have a body waiting in the stall that he throws up in. Let's see if he reacts to that or just completely ignores it and starts throwing up anyway. And he goes to the third floor bathroom for no reason at all. I don't know why he goes up here. Maybe he just wants to throw up in private. Whoa, I'm not going in there with you. Sorry. Oh, yeah, I forgot about it. Sorry, I got to do this to you. Uh. Put her right over here on top of the toilet. And let's see what he does. All right, here we go. Placeholder girl is inside the bathroom. We just put the emetic inside of his bento. So now we just gotta play the waiting game. And let's do this, guys. And I don't even know why I said that. Like, I was trying to be, like, all seductive and have a sexy voice. I was like, let's do this, guys. Let's wait for him to eat his bento and let's do this, guys. Let's wait for him to get a stomach ache and start choking in his insides, guys. I don't even know why I talk like that. Like, this ain't ASMR. Just get to the goddamn bathroom and start throwing up, my dude. All right, here we go, guys. Moment of truth. He might glitch out once he sees the body. We'll see. He opened it. And he's throwing up on the body. This sick fuck is throwing up on this girl's dead body. How dare you? How double doggy style dare you? Let's see what happens when he's done throwing up, though. Nothing. He doesn't even care. Let me pick this body up. And let me see if he even notices it. 
You gonna notice this? Oh, he noticed it now. Oh my god, this can't be happening. Stay away from me. Hey, you're the one throwing up on dead bodies. You stay away from me. And before we end today's episode, I know you guys are gonna ask this. You're gonna ask if I can use all those poisons on Kakona since I can use it on Toga. Before we could only use this poison right here on her bento, let's try the other ones and let's see if it has the same effects. All right, here we go, guys. It's showtime. Oh, Kakona got her bento. He and now she's getting super, super horny for Senpai. Let's creep over to her bento. Oh, and I can't poison it. I have the emetic poison right now, and I can't even poison it. And I forgot that Senpai okay. isn't even here. What the hell are you mind. looking at? Are you looking at I'm Ghost Senpai? Him. All right, guys, but well, that's going to do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator. We don't know what Headache is going to do yet, but hopefully we find out soon. If you guys are excited for that and want to see more Yandere Simulator episodes in the future, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!